Hi there, and welcome to another short web snippet brought to you by the guys here at Anova Systems. My name is Matthew, and this time I'm just going to talk you through a couple of pointers on conducting transient flow analyses. Okay, so what I've got here is a very, very simple study. I'm just going to be studying the flow around this cylinder that I've got here. A well understood flow phenomenon that we get with uh, flow around a cylinder is what's referred to as von Kármán vortex shedding. And it's a structure that we can't see unless we are conducting a transient analysis. So let's have a look. What I'm first going to do is generate a new study. And I'm just going to create a new configuration for this study for the time being. Use the standard units. Uh, it's an external study. And I'm going to make sure this time that I select the time dependent analysis checkbox. And what we can do from here is specify one, how long we're going to run the study for. Let's say maybe 10 seconds. And two, we're going to specify the output time step. So this is how often the results are saved out. So those cut plots and all of that information is saved out within the study. So here, if I put 0.1, we're going to have results saved out every 0.1 seconds. So that's 10 every second. And so we'll have 100 result plots over our 10 second period. Now, this is important later on when we come to uh, setting up our animations because this dictates our frame rate. So if we want a 10 second analysis with a 10 second animation of the results, if we want a 24 frame per second frame rate, then we're gonna have to have in this box one divided by 24, which is 0 0.041666 for um, our output time step. Okay, next I'm just gonna select air and okay. Leave the default walk thermal wall conditions. And I'm just going to put a flow in the X direction of say 60 meters a second and finish. And so we can see our computational domain on the screen just there. Switching into the flow tool, another important area for us in terms of setting up our transient analysis is the calculation control options. So right clicking on the input data and coming to calculation control options here, we can come in and specify. So if we want to change our calculation time, our physical time just here, we can make those changes here. We can also include refinement. So if we don't drag our mesh slider up to uh, level six and beyond, we don't see this refinement at all. But with the calculation control options box that we've got here, we can specify some refinement properties. And so as we see with the normal slider, we've got several levels. And what this is going to do is refine the mesh um, between each iteration to better capture the flow structures that we're getting. So those flow vortices that we're hoping to develop, the mesh will be refined around those areas so that we're getting a nice accurate reading and nice accurate results and a clear picture of the structure around that area. Again, we can change the frequency with which our results saved out by selecting the saving tab and choosing the periodic saving options. Okay, now so if I just jump out of there and into my other configuration where I've already got a study set up, what you will see is if I load some results in, I've already generated my study, so I've already run that transient analysis. Uh, so I've got uh, a number of time steps of results, and I'm just going to show you a quick pointer on setting up the animations for your results. So let's generate a cut plot here. And for this time I'm just going to plot the turbulent viscosity because that's a really nice one for showing us those vortex structures. And select OK just there. And so we can see what a nice cut plot that we've got just there. But if I select animate right here, so I ask it to play, all that plane is going to do, that cut plot, is just translate backwards and forwards along the axis of that cylinder and we're not going to get our time dependent results which is exactly what we're after so instead what we're going to do is right click on the cut plot and come into the animation option I'm going to expand this box and select the animation wizard just over here what we first need to do is delete all, ex all existing tracks. So that's going to remove anything else that's already sitting in the animation timeline. And then we need to specify the animation time. So in this case, if we stick it on four seconds, we're going to get an animation that lasts four seconds and all of our results will be compressed in order to fit inside there. 
I don't want any any rotation within the animation. So I'm going to leave that box unchecked. And then this is the most important part. I'm just going to select scenario for the type of animation. And then when I click next, if we finally get uh, where to start and stop our results. So here you can see that I ran this study for 67 seconds. And I'm going to start from zero. And I'm going to click finish. And so you'll see we've got all of the frames appear on our timeline now. But before we can start pressing play, we first of all need to activate our plot within the timeline. So right clicking next to my cut plot three on the timeline, I'm going to insert a control point and drag the end control point out to the end of the animation. And that's about it. So once I click play, you'll see that now that cut plot is going to step through each of those re results phases. So at every interval that I've specified for results to be saved out, it's going to display a cut plot. Okay, uh, that's about it. That's about all I've got to show you for uh, the transient analysis tips. Uh, before we go, let's just have a look at some of the sort of videos that you can generate. So this is the same study, but uh, I've just got a number of uh, different colors, color schemes and I've also got some vectors and some ISO lines in here. Okay, thank you for watching. And as always, if you wanted to get in touch, you can do so by dropping by our website, which is www.innova-systems.co.uk. You can email us at support at innova-systems.co.uk or you can give us a call on the number you see on your screen now.